OK, now in this problem, we have uh, two particles, one with mass 2 kilos and one with mass 20 kilos. The 2 kilo particle is sat on a table. OK, the table is smooth. There is a light inextensible string okay, that is going over this pulley. Um, and the 20 kilo particle is uh, hanging midair. And I'm holding the 20 kilo particle in place. And then I release it. What happens next, effectively? What, is the, what will be the tension in the string and the acceleration of the system? So let's add in uh, some forces here that are going on, that are acting on these particles. We've got the weight working vertically downwards, OK, at 20G for this particle. And we've got the tension working upwards. We're going to have the weight of this particle working downwards, which is 2G. We've got the normal reaction force, R. We've got the tension in the string, T. Uh, we don't have any friction, OK? So this is the situation. We've got the acceleration, actually. We'll add that in. This particle will accelerate to the right. This uh, particle will accelerate downwards. So let's call this particle A and that particle B. So if I look at particle A, I don't need to resolve vertically. I'm not interested in that, OK? Um, because there's no acceleration vertically. So R will be equal to 2G. What I'm interested in is resolving it horizontally. I'm going to take to the right as positive, because that's the uh, direction of motion. So I've got the tension working towards the right. And that's got to be equal to the mass 2 times the acceleration A. So that's my first equation. Let's look at particle B. In order to do that, I resolve downwards. Um, so I've got 20G working downwards. I've got the tension working against me. And I've got that going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. So if I add these two equations together, the tensions will cancel. So equation 1 and equation 2. T, take away T, it's gone. So I'm just left with the 20G. It's got to be equal to 22A. So if I take G as 9.8, 20 lots of 9.8 divided by 22 gets me 98 elevenths, which is equal to 8.9 meters per second per second to two significant figures. So if that's the acceleration, then the tension using equation number one is two lots of A. So uh, double that. So 196 over 11 newtons, which is equal to 18 newtons to two significant figures. OK, so that is how we can figure out the tension in the string and the acceleration of the system.